There are around 16 different types of levels people make in GD, but have you ever wondered which ones are better or worse than others? Well this video will go over just that. I'm going to be ranking all of these level themes from worst to best, based on the average quality of creations that the style produces, the potential of this trend in the best case scenario, and whether or not the style is overused. If there's a theme I left out that you think I should have included, let me know. Well then. Let's start the countdown. The style that has to take the bottom spot for me is Design. It's one of the most overused themes, right up there with Glow, and nearly all design levels are the generic crap that the gauntlets are full of. When pretty much none of the levels have an ounce of creativity, I can't really place this anywhere else. And even the best design levels, according to the GD Awards, don't look that great either in my opinion. There's simply nothing to like here. Glow style isn't all bad, but it's 99.9% .9 bad. There are some good extreme demons, such as Edge of Destiny, which are glow themed, but again, 99.9% .9 of these levels are the generic ones, which flood the featured tab and haven't a single morsel of originality or creativity. For that reason, I'm going to place this style in F tier. Up next is 1.0 style, which I'm going to be lumping together with effect layouts because they're pretty much the same thing. 1.0 style levels can be one of four things, a literal 1.0 level, a layout, a layout with effects, or in the best case scenario, an actually cool level where the creator limited themselves on which objects they can use. The potential for this theme is pretty high, as levels like Nostalgic Journey have shown the great things you can accomplish, even when you're limited by the challenge of only using 1.0 textures. But in terms of most effect layouts, the trend is just an excuse to not decorate your levels, and the effects aren't that impressive or creative. Sure, there have been some really cool levels using this style, but it's pretty much devolved by now into making an average layout, adding some glow and move triggers, and calling it a day. Such an innovative use of effects. I once saw a really cool effect layout that just wasn't decorated. All they had left to do was make some block design and the level would be awesome, but instead they decided to just upload what they had as an effect layout. What the hell? Overall, I think the 1.0 style sucks, but at least I don't find these levels everywhere anymore. Up next on the list is Extreme Demon Theme, or in other words, Hell Theme. I say Extreme Demon Theme because if you're a list grinder, you cannot get away from this trend. It's everywhere. Hell Theme, Hell Theme, and more Hell Theme. Extreme Demons all have the same problem today as they did over 5 years ago, which is the fact that this style is so oversaturated among them. Sure, there are a select few creators who think outside the box from time to time, but the health theme is still incredibly overused. And to make matters worse, despite all of the practice we've had building these levels over and over again, most of them still aren't even that good. They're mostly filled with generic deco covered in ground spikes and black glow to mask how lazy the creators are. As for the theme part of the theme, it's just as uncreative, with imagery that is supposed to be scary and convey death, but usually ends up being unoriginal or cheesy. That said, extreme demons tend to have much more detail than other levels, so I will grant hell levels a few extra points for the amount of time that goes into them. I should also go over the rare case of hell style done right, like when you experiment with colors besides red, black, and grey, or when you actually make a compelling theme instead of copy and pasting random spooky art to check off a box. A hell demon that I consider to be one of the best is Apocalyptic Trilogy by AP Team, which is a level that I adore. Levels like this are great, but aren't enough to carry the trend. The goal of any horror level is to scare the player. Man Man and Collab level are two levels that are very successful at creating such a feeling. When you do manage to do this, a horror level can be one of the better levels in GD. The problem is, most of the time, these levels do not succeed in being scary. The vast majority, even some of the better ones like Peaceful and Red Rooms, come off as cheesy instead. The fact that most of them are failures sets the horror genre in GD back by a significant margin. 
Retro levels can be distinguished by their 8-bit decoration style and their almost exclusive use of the colors green and red. You can't really make a great level in this theme, as the more impressive the visuals are, the less it looks like a retro level. This is the reason why they aren't as good as other trends. While the 8-bit theme may be nostalgic for some people, charm isn't enough to counteract the fact that the art style is objectively worse than others. 1.9 style is the style you build in if you're feeling nostalgic for the past, before levels got so complex. Simplicity is the main idea for a 1.9 level, as its defining features are the small selection of block designs used, and the fact that the editor had only four color channels. There's not much more to say about this style, the long and short of it is that creators will build as if they were in the update. The levels they build tend to be pretty cool, although there's nothing that comes out of this trend, or ever will, that's really anything special. Nine Circles levels are pretty controversial, and you might be angry about the fact that I'm placing them this high, but this is my list, and I personally believe that these demons are far more creative than they're given credit for. Sure, classic NC levels were lazy creations that followed the same basic formula and copy and pasted the same stuff, but modern Nine Circles levels made in the last few years are different. Hue Effect, as well as some former and upcoming list demons, have experimented with either unique gameplay or original effects besides the classic Neon Wave effect and typical 1.9 style block design. However, this is only the best ones, as others like Nine Circle X are essentially the same as the classics with a little more stuff on top. A lot of the levels aren't the greatest, but you don't see them nearly as much as you used to, so they're not likely to be annoying anymore. That helps push them past a few other styles on the list. We're now halfway through our list of level themes. If this video is helping you learn something new about the various styles in GD, consider subscribing. My channel is full of similar informative content, so if you're interested, hit that red button to be notified of my weekly uploads. I've also got a Discord server you can check out where we can discuss various things GD. Now back to the video. Core usually makes for the most object-heavy levels of any style in GD. Its main tenets are to build unique structures, to fill those blocks in with numerous unique and complex block designs, and to also use a ton of air deco to fill in as much empty space as possible. I can appreciate the amount of effort that goes into making a core level, but it seems that no matter how creative you are, the finished product is always going to look the same. I feel that core levels can't really ever be unique, but they're still pretty solid, hence why I've placed them decently high. Modernistic style is known for its custom jump rings and portals, as well as minimalistic decoration. The block designs and background effects are considered clean, and levels of this theme make use of vibrant colors in addition to a lot of white and grayscale. The best modern levels happen when the theme is mixed with others, such as art. And by the way, no, I am NOT going to be listing all of these as separate themes. Since they all branch off from modernistic, they're all getting lumped together WITH modernistic. Not every level looks like Dreamflower by Knots and Zender Game, but these creators have clearly shown the potential of the trend at its best to make for some of the greatest levels in GD. As for what most modern levels are like, I'd say a good example would be Accu by Nageview. Simple, though good looking design, vibrant colors, and sick custom backgrounds. Lots of people claim that modern style is lazy and that the block designs are uncreative. But again, complex blocks aren't the point. If you want those to be the star of the show, check out a design level. The main source of creativity comes from the BG effects and artwork that some levels have. Overall, I'd say that most modern levels are a solid B tier. That won't be a controversial take. As far as the argument of modernistic being overused goes, I understand this, and the volume of modern levels out there probably contributes to why people view it as lazy or the new generic. But this doesn't outweigh the other two factors, hence why I'm placing the style as high as I am. Effect levels tend to focus less on designs, ground spikes, and air deco, 
and more about making some of the most impressive background visuals in the game. If you've watched the videos of effect creators like Wolsey, you'll know that there's an insane amount of work that goes into making effects like these, but the end result is stunning. If you want to know what the best effect level is, I'd point to How by Sputniks. There's a good reason why this level was so famous, it's literally awesome visual effects at its peak. Just look at this and tell me that it isn't one of the greatest levels that the community has ever seen. Textile involves using various objects like these to build intricate black block designs, then adding some glow to pretty them up a little. You may also end up making blocks more like these ones that are more three-dimensional and come with fans, fuel tanks, rocket propellers, and other technology-related things. Overall, textile levels are pretty cool, and some of them are just plain awesome. It's hard to make a proper space-themed level and have it not be great, as there's a lot of incredible artwork you need to make in order for your level to look like space. I wish more creators tried this theme out, as I can't think of a single one of these levels that isn't amazing, or at least made significantly better by the presence of space stuff. The concept of an art level is to go above and beyond what creators usually make. You can't get much more creative than in one of these, as the style is based on making every aspect a work of art, from the block design to the background to the air deco. Other styles, while they do differ depending on the theme, usually follow a similar formula in terms of decoration, but art levels are so much more original. For these reasons, it's the second best theme in GD. For first place, I'm putting minigames, game recreations, and original games all under the umbrella of the game trend and giving them the gold medal. To me, a level's decoration isn't as important as its gameplay, and if I can't judge the gameplay, I'll base my rating on how impressive the level is. And there is no type of Geometry Dash level that is more impressive than game levels. Creators never fail to blow my mind with how they're able to program these masterpieces within the limits of a level editor, be it to recreate another game, build a simple gimmick, or to create an entire original level in Geometry Dash. Wow. I can't think of a single level style that deserves this top spot more than the game trend. This is the best level style by far. I've got a whole playlist of countdowns similar to the one you just watched, so if you liked this video you'll probably enjoy those as well. Additionally, tell me which placements you agree and disagree with and why in the comments. Consider subscribing for more commentary videos like this one, and as always, thanks for watching.